Hi everyone! As I've mentioned a few times already, when you are making outfit conversions, there are two ways you can finish up to put your new outfit into Skyrim. We covered how to turn the refitted outfit into a body slide project in the last video. In this one, we're going to talk about how to turn the refitted outfit into size 0 and size 1 NIFs to put directly into your game. Remember that no matter how you've done the refitting process, whether that's using a conversion reference, a custom body slider, building the shape in body slide, or by manual editing, one of these two final steps is required to get your outfit into the game. In this video, we are going to make and use size and or shape conversion sliders. If you have not yet watched my tutorials about sliders, you may want to pause and check out videos number 41 and 42 of this series. If you don't use body slide or you just don't want to bother for a particular outfit, then you will need to convert the refitted outfit to the actual size 0 and size 1 shapes before you can use it in Skyrim. In our first conversion example video, we refitted an outfit to the CBBE body slide reference shape. Body slide reference shapes, whether it's for CBBE or PHUNP or HIMBO or other body slide compatible body, are probably the most versatile shapes for refitting your outfits. They are also the ending shapes for most conversion reference sliders, which comes in really handy for making custom conversion sliders, which we are going to do in the next video. For now, we are going to take our optimized demo top NIF that has been refitted to the CBBE reference body and turn that into size 0 and size 1 NIFs. If you have already refitted your outfit to a particular size, then you just have to use a conversion slider to create the other size. Please see video number 43 for how to do that. Before we start this step, make sure you know where to find the full naked body size 0 and size 1 NIFs that match your current body reference. For our example, that's the naked CBBE body, either slim or curvy, whichever one you want. Don't try to use the never nude, underwear, or outfit versions though, because these will be missing some vertices and thus prevent you from creating the slider. Select the CBBE reference body, then go to Slider, New Slider. Give it a name if you want, which is best practice. Find your new slider on the list and click the pencil next to it. Then go to Slider, Import Slider Data, and Import NIF. Navigate to wherever you have the naked size 0 body, select the female body underscore 0 dot NIF, and hit Open. As long as you picked a body that matches the reference body, it should morph in the window. If you get an error like this, it means that you need to do a little more digging to find the size 0 version of the body that has exactly the same vertex count and vertex order as your reference shape. See my intro to sliders video number 41 for more on that. Once your slider is successfully made, click the pencil next to it to exit slider edit mode. Then conform all your meshes to the new slider, move it to 100% and see how it looks. If anything does not conform well, click the pencil again and edit the outfit as needed. Don't worry about eliminating all the clipping with the body underneath. It's better to just delete parts of the body that are all covered up by the outfit and we will do that in a bit. When you are happy with how it looks, make sure you have exited slider edit mode, meaning it's not purple anymore, and move the slider to 100%. Then go to Slider, Set Base Shape, and this will lock the outfit into the size 0 shape. Check your outfit all over and make sure it looks good. Use any and all of the Outfit Studio tools as needed to fix things. It's always a good idea to remove vertices from the body wherever it is covered up by the outfit. This can prevent clipping and it's good for performance. 
I suggest creating and saving a mask for body vertices that you want to delete as a backup, and you can refer to video number 12 for how to do that. Once the mask is saved, go to Shape and Delete Vertices. If you don't like the first body zap, just undo, make some tweaks, and do it again. But be sure to save the mask again if you change it. When that's all done and everything looks good, go ahead and export your final size zero NIF. Include the body or body part if it belongs in your outfit, or just export your item if it has no body parts. From here, we also need to make the size one NIF, and we can use a size conversion slider for this exactly like we did previously in the size conversion video. If you have zapped out any body vertices, which remember is a good idea if the body is covered up by the outfit, then you're going to need to bring in a fresh copy of the full nude body to make the slider. This is temporary, so do not delete the body that goes with your outfit. Select the whole nude body mesh and go to Slider, New Slider. Click the pencil for the slider, then go to Slider, Import Slider Data, Import NIF. Navigate to the size one version of the body that matches your current size zero body, select it and hit open. Click the pencil to exit slider edit mode. Set the body as a reference by right clicking on it and set reference. Then conform the outfit to the new slider by going to slider conform all. Move the slider to 100% and make sure there are no major distortions caused by the slider action. If there are, you will need to fix these using the Undiff tool before you set base shape. Once everything looks good, go ahead and move the slider to 100%, set base shape, and then you can delete the slider body mesh, not the one that goes with your outfit, and complete the work to fix any distortions or clipping as needed. In this case, we can keep the body that we had in the outfit since we used the actual matching size zero and size one bodies to make the size conversion slider. This is especially helpful when we have deleted body vertices since it can be hard to make the other size match by doing it again manually. But this is also why we saved a mask for the body zap. If for some reason we had to bring in a fresh body, we could use that mask to ensure that we delete the same vertices on both sizes of the body. When everything looks good, export your size one NIF. I always recommend that you optimize your NIFs before you call everything done. So open both of the size zero and size one NIFs in NIFScope and optimize them as per video number 22 of this series. At a minimum, you should make sure all the meshes are in the same order as they were in the original. If they are not, it can break texture sets in the plugin. I also highly recommend going to Spells, Remove Bogus Nodes, and then Spells, Remove Unused Strings. Consider also refacing normals and updating tangents, especially if the lighting of your mesh looks off. And if you are working on Body Slide and Outfit Studio version 5.6.3 or earlier, check the vertex flags to make sure colors and eye data have not been inadvertently added. See video number 37 if you have this issue and need help fixing it. If this is an outfit with SMP physics, make sure the XML file is linked exactly like it is in the original outfit NIF. Put the optimized NIFs into a new mod folder as either replacer files or for a new standalone outfit. If you need guidance on how to do that, please refer to videos number 24, 26, or 27 in this tutorial series. Then head into the game and try out your new outfit. If anything needs fixing, head back into Outfit Studio and edit the meshes further using all the knowledge and experience that you've gained so far to make your outfit look totally awesome.
So we've taken our refitted outfit and made the size 0 and size 1 nifts to put it into Skyrim. And this, along with a previous video about making it into a body slide project, concludes our two finishing steps videos. From here, we will be focused on just the refitting part of the process. I've said this enough times to sound like a broken record, but here we go again. There are different ways to do the refitting, and we are going to use four different methods to convert our demo top from the tutorial mod. Just remember that no matter which method you use, the last step of the conversion process needs to be one of the finishes that we've just covered in these last two videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon for more conversion work. Bye!